Hello everyone and welcome to Facebook Live. How is everyone doing today? How is everyone doing? Guys, so today I want to share with you three secrets, you know, three secrets to stay motivated in while building your business. Because, you know, I have noticed and, and even this week I had a client ask me about this, like, how to stay motivated, you know, you, you, it's, it's challenging sometimes when you are building a business and, um, and you know, you know, you, you got to do what you got to do, but yet you're not taking the action, something's stuck and you have no idea what to do, right? So, and I think it's such an interesting, interesting subject, you know, in all honesty. Hey, Ida, Andreina, hey everyone. So for those of you joining me on this Facebook Live, make sure you say hello in the comments below. Share with me who you are, where you're coming from. And, and yeah, hey, is it Ida or Ida? I hope I'm saying it correctly. Um, so guys, I wanna share with you these three secrets. You know, I have really, like, I've noticed myself um, you know, stop being consistent. I notice myself like stop, get blocked, get stuck when, when you know, things are not going well. And when I notice as well when things are not going well, um, I'm not motivated. I'm not motivated to take action. I'm not motivated to take the next step that I know I need to take to get the result I need to get, right? And so many times, right, we know what we need to do, right, to get the results we want to get, but yet we, we sabotage ourselves. We sabotage ourselves and we don't do it, right? And I'm sure you guys are familiar with this, aren't you? Awesome, Ida, Ida, awesome. Thank you, Ida. So, the three secrets. What are the three secrets? Number one, you gotta know yourself and your personality and, and what really motivates you. So for example, you know, not everyone is motivated by money. Some people are actually motivated by recognition. You know, um, some people are actually motivated by responsibility. Some people are actually motivated by, I don't know, more clothes, more food. You gotta know yourself. You gotta know your personality, right? You gotta know yourself. You gotta know your personality. And you gotta know what motiv motiv motivates you specifically. So for example, I, I noticed that for me, what motivates me in all honesty is recognition. Like more than money, I notice for me, I get more excited by being recognized than money, than making money. So you ask yourself, what really motivates you? Because when you get clear of what your specific motivation is and you design your plan, you design your business uh, like according to that, it can be much more easier and it's much more exciting, right? To, to get things going. The other thing, the other secret you could say it, um, to stay motivated is have Remember, remember your why. You know, so many times we're building a business and we forget while in the building of it, while in like uh, the action of it, we forget why we started it. You know, I notice myself sometimes when I'm, when I'm building and, and, and growing, I'm like, why am I even doing this? Like, why am I going through this? Like, why, why, why should I even do this? And then I really have to remember, so I stay on track and motivated why I started this in the first place. So something for that me that for me that really helps me stay motivated is having you know my vision board in front of me. You know, in my office I have my vision board, and, and whenever I see it, it really reminds me of why I'm actually doing this. And it's, it's so powerful to have that. You know, that secret number two. Secret secret number three to stay motivated is have accountability. You know, get yourself in a, in a mastermind or with a partner, with a coach, someone who can hold you accountable and, and keep you in that, in that energy, you know, because it's, it's very normal to not stay motivated. It's normal to, to lose momentum. It's normal, you know, it happens to all of us, the best of us. But what's important, even if you lose it, right, even if you lose the momentum, what's really important other than that is, is for you to get back on track. There are many times during the year that I just want to lose, I lose motivation. I just don't want to do anything. But because other people I surround myself with, you know, my colleagues, my coaches, my peers, my my partner, everyone, it gives me no option but to continue. It motivates me, right? Hey, Tiffany. Hi. Nice to have you here. So that's that's really important, right? So for those of you joining, we're talking about staying motivated. What book do you recommend me to stay motivated? That's such a good question. Um, what book to stay motivated? There's so many books, God, I love books. Let's see. 
I think a very like masculine book can help you stay motivated. Like something around like Mike Julie's book, Leveraging Your Nerd. That's like a very motivating book. Books that are very like, you can do it, you know? The Go-Getter, there's a book of Go called The Go-Getter by Peter, Peter, Peter something. It's a really good book because it talks about the story of a go-getter and it gets you excited, right? The Motivation Manifesto is a good one. Exactly, I've not read that one actually, Tiffany, so that's a good, good, thank you for recommending that. So there you go, Motivation Manifesto. It should be a book that is like all about like, go, you can do it, like that type of languaging, because when you're reading that, you're like, okay, okay, I can do it, you know what I mean? So that's really, really helpful. So guys, it's so important to stay motivated. Whatever you started, it, 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 know that one, it's normal to want to quit. Know it's normal to lose motivation. You know, and, and, and when we are building our business or any goal we put our, our mind to, we gotta build character, you know? One of my best friends uh, and my brother, my dear brother from Mexico, he, he taught me this, you know, he shared this with me of, about character, how, you know, one of the traits of successful people is having character. And ca character, according to Robert Cavett, is following through, you know, following through a decision a, and a commitment long after the excitement of the moment has passed. And, and it's like following through your commitment, your, your intention, your goal, even though your motivation has gone, right? Because it's normal that it goes away. But following truth, and, and even though you don't feel motivated or excited to do what you said you were going to do, you do it. You know, you get motivated again. You know, you do, you do the three things I shared with you today. You get to know yourself. You put yourself motivation goals. You, you put yourself, um, you put your own fire under you, right? So you are motivated, for example, by recognition like I am. Put the fire below you, right? Get yourself recognized. Know what you need to do to get yourself recognized. For me, I love getting results, not for the money, I've noticed for me, I love getting the results, I love to share it with my, my mastermind, I love to share it with my coach, because whenever I do, um, you know, I get, I get messages like, oh, how amazing, and, and that, you know, fulfills me more than anything else, you know, in all transparency here, right? And it's so important. The other thing, remember, you got to make sure you, you remember your why. Have your vision board, your dream board, if you have not, if you have one already and you have not updated it in a month, update it. You know, this is something that you should be updating every single month in all honesty. The other thing, make sure you're surrounded with people who are motivating, who are encouraging. You know, many of us are in jobs or surrounded by people who are, you're, you're up to no good, you're not worth it, you are... You know, you don't qualify, you will, you will never be able to do something amazing. And you know, when we hear that every day, even if it's our mom saying that every day to us, we kind of believe it. But when we're surrounded by people who are like, oh my God, you know, Tiffany, you totally can do it. Like, I believe in you. You know, there's no way that Tiffany will be like, okay, she's saying that all the time. Let me, let me see if she, she's right. You know what I mean? Then I say like, sometimes the best thing you can do in life for anybody around you is to believe in them. You know, you believing in someone, you are changing that person's life. That energy you give to someone by just having that belief in that person, for me, I've noticed is life changing. That's one of the reasons I feel like the secret of why I became successful so fast. I didn't think I was going to be able to do it. I did not believe it, but my coach did. You know, she saw the vision before I did. She believed in it before I did. And when she spoke to me, when she, when she was talking to me, she was talking to the woman who had achieved it, and it just like, it, it rose me to that, if that makes sense. So I think it's super important. So guys, if you have any questions around being motivated about business, money, clients, um, you can ask me your questions in your comments in this uh, Facebook Live, and I'll be answering them. So Carla, do you have a morning routine to stay motivated every day? So I do, because I think motivation is something that we got to be doing on a daily consistent basis. It's like showering, right? I heard this once and I think it was an, an audio. It's like showering. Um, so yes, Andrea. Hey, Andrea. Nice to have you here. Welcome to the Facebook Live. So something that I do every morning to stay motivated, Carla, is like, and I think I've shared this with you. It's like, First, I love reading, so I, I make sure I'm reading at least one sentence. Today, I woke up and I was reading out loud um, this paragraph from the book, uh, The Abundance. It's a really cool small book. And I've been reading the same book like since 20 days now. And I love it. And like, because it, it's so motivating, right? So reading for me is very motivating. And not just reading silently, but like reading out loud, having affirmation, doing some tapping, you know? If you feel in the morning you wake up with no energy, do some tapping. Like even though I do not feel motivated today, 
you know, I choose to increase my energy today. I choose to feel motivated today. That's something really cool. Hope that helps you. Awesome. Sharing amazing energy. Of course, Andrea. Do you have any questions for me, Andrea? I, don't, I think you missed what we shared today. But basically, we were talking about how to stay motivated in your business or whatever goal you set up for yourself. Because as you may know, it's so easy to get discouraged, right? So one thing that is important is that you, sh you should put yourself up to succeed. So motivate yourself by what you know you get motivated by. So for me, I am motivated, motivated by recognition. So I make sure I recognize on a consistent basis because that's what motivates me. The other thing is, um, what was the second one? So the third, the second one? Okay, yeah, the second one was to, God, I forgot. <laughs> so the second one was, I think it was, Oh God, guys, help me here. What was it? Um, oh yeah. So the second one, I think this is the third one, but I'll, I'll say it up the other way around. But the other one was to surround yourself with people, right? Who are motivating and encouraging. Encouraging because when you are around people who are encouraging you and motivating you, like you tend to believe that, right? You tend to believe that that, that tends to honestly, honestly stick to you. It, it, it makes a big difference. And the other one is to have your why in front of you. Why are you doing what you're doing? When you have a reminder of your why every time, even though when your motivation goes away, it keeps you going. So those are the three secrets to stay motivated, whatever, which, with, with, with whichever goal you have put for yourself. Doesn't matter. Um, any goal you have put for yourself, it really, really helps. So yes, that's what I want to share with you guys today. Do you guys have any other questions for me? I want to hear from you. Any other questions? If not, let's see. Nobody else? So, so guys, hope you guys have a beautiful, beautiful Friday. It's the end of the week. You know, it's important to rest, something that I have been really learning and putting into practice. You know, sometimes we can go in the very, we can have a very go-go energy, but it's so important to rest, relax, take care. As you guys are seeing, my throat is like, stop, Sharina. Uh, but last night, actually, we, I, was, I did this uh, event that I, I was a speaker at. I was a speaker. I, I spoke at this event, and I think that, like, that my throat was like, I gave my, all my energy, and it was like, so yeah. So yeah, guys, hope to see you guys soon in an in a, in a upcoming Facebook Live. And make sure, guys, for those of you who have not yet registered to the Millionaire Mindset Series, make sure you register to that. That's an amazing interview series from women from all around the world who are making it happen in their life and business. So Andrea is actually going to share with you the link so you can join if you haven't done so already. And later on today in the group, ladies, we're going to be sharing with you the contest who won, the five people who have shared and won the interviews for free. So, Look out for that. It's going to be really exciting. So, Kalina. Hi, Kalina. How do you motivate yourself to move past a block? Oh, God. That's such a good question. You guys ask. I love these questions. So, you motivate yourself to move past a block by just moving. You know, it's important when you, are, when you feel blocked or you feel stuck to move. You know, a block is just stuck energy. When you start taking action and you start like looking for things and start moving, but when you're starting to move that energy, it moves, right? It moves. And by just moving that energy, you start. You start motivating yourself because movement is what creates, right? It's, it's the energy of creation. So if you're experiencing a block, Kalina, whatever it is or whatever you do, make sure you're moving. You're doing something to move forward, taking action, doing something, staying stuck in the block is what keeps us stuck and, and discouraged. So moving forward by taking action, and you know, like maybe, uh, maybe if you're blocked, maybe reading a book, maybe coming live on a Facebook live here, like, you know, participating in things like this is motivating. Doing what you know motivates you too, right? You gotta know yourself and know for you what motivates you. For me, I know that there's a particular audio and a particular like book that whenever I read, it's like, oh my God, I am on fire. Like there's nobody who can stop me because I, I get on fire. So know yourself. Know what motivates you and then move from there. So, Kalina, hope, hopefully I answered your question. Let me know if not. So, let's see. Dale. Hi, Dale. So nice to have you here on Facebook. So, guys, hope you guys have enjoyed this Facebook Live. I will be uh, coming back with more, more content in these videos. And 
Meanwhile, enjoy your weekend. Enjoy Friday. It's amazing. It's an amazing, amazing day. Enjoy your weekend. Rest, and I am sending you lots and lots of love. Bye.